I'm going to present here one initiative that ActionAid has been developing related with uh, sustainable agriculture. We call it climate resilient sustainable agriculture. And why we are talking about uh, uh, climate resilience and sustainable agriculture uh, 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 right now? It is because almost all uh, uh, models, uh, recent models on climate, uh, is indicating that even if we manage to reduce the amount of carbon that we are producing and uh, putting in the atmosphere, if we manage to reduce it drastically, the amount of carbon and other gases that we already put in the atmosphere, uh, they are enough to promote huge changes. And uh, as a consequence of it, we can expect an increase on the occur occurrence and the severity of uh, uh, some uh, uh, several climate events like uh, storms, droughts, and we can also expect decrease in the annual uh, rainfall, uh, rainfall and hurricanes and many other things. Uh, the consequence for us of this kind of increasing in the occurrence, occurrence and severity of this kind of uh, 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 events uh, is that it is going to be more normal, more common, and more also severe. Uh, things like uh, floods, landslides, uh, we can expect the uh, increase in crop failure. We, we are already facing it, but we can expect that the situation is going to be even worse. Uh, we are going to have more uncertainties about what, what and when to plant. Uh, we can have shortage of food, food insecurity can increase. Uh, in the models are showing also that in some parts of the world, we may have something like the reduction in half of the production of rain-fed agriculture. Smallholder farmers, they are used to deal with changing weather. Uh, these kind of problems, uh, floods and droughts, uh, hurricanes. It, 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 these kind of problems are, are not uh, new for farmers. Farmers have been dealing with it for centuries and they have uh, on this process of dealing with the, 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 the challenges that uh, uh, the, the weather and the climate pose to them. They are being able to develop a lot of uh, several uh, uh, crop uh, uh, coping mechanisms. Uh, very nice ones, interesting ones. and They have managed to survive even in the, in the uh, uh, changing uh, uh, weather. Uh, Smallholder farmers around the world, they are already suffering with climate change uh, and with this uh, uh, growing unpredictability of the, the, the climate. Uh, in many places in the world, they say that the normal signs that they use uh, uh, to, to decide when they are going to plant, when they are going to harvest, and many other things, they are not working anymore. Uh, well, farmers have been struggling uh, with climate change for, for centuries. This is, well, these kind of problems are not new from them, and they have been in their day by day struggle with the changing uh, uh, weather. They have been able to develop several strategies to cope with it. Uh, climate change, uh, uh, however, it is going to put uh, problems that we, are, we, we never faced uh, face before. It is going to be in this, with a severity and magnitude that we never had before. Because of that, we are discussing about uh, climate change and agriculture, because if we want to continue to produce food, and if we want to continue to, 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 to produce food, is, is that, that smallholder farmers can continue to produce food, we need to incorporate in our day by day this discussion on the whole issue of climate change. Uh, in the, the main issues related with climate change and, and agriculture involves mitigation and adaptation. By mitigation, we mean all initiatives or activities that can remove carbon and other gases related with greenhouse uh, effect from the atmosphere or 
initiatives that we can do to reduce the production of carbon and other gases. We call it mitigation. And adaptation uh, is related with all initiatives or activities that we can do to adapt to climate change. It's clear now that the weather is changing, the climate is changing, and we need to adapt. Uh, we need to be able to consider in our day-by-day -day work the impacts of climate change. And then mitigation and adaptation are the two main issues that we need to discuss on, uh, uh, on, the, on this uh, agriculture and climate. We, as Action Aid, we believe that uh, sustainable agriculture is the best tool we have uh, uh, to, to work in both issues, mitigation and adaptation. Uh, and why we are saying that sustainable agriculture is the best tool, or is a nice tool, or fantastic tool uh, to deal with it? Uh, there are several uh, 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 reasons to do, to do it, and there are several uh, initiatives and experiments that show, to us, uh, show it to us also the, the importance of sustainable agriculture in the context of climate change. We put here three examples, but there are several others. The first one is related with one hurricane uh, that reached uh, Central America uh, in the end of uh, the 90s, uh, last century. And it was really a serious uh, hurricane. And uh, uh, Mitch is the name of it, uh, was the name of it. Uh, and after the, 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 the passage of the hurricane in the Central America, uh, when the group of researchers, they did interview, a research, a field, you know, a field interview uh, in 360 rural communities in countries affected, like Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. And they concluded that people that were using a sustainable agriculture appro approach, uh, people that were uh, using a more the diversified production system with trees, uh, they suffered less with the hurricane and they recover faster than the ones that were using uh, 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 conventional agriculture. It was uh, it showed us that sustainable agriculture can help us to cope with climate change and can help us to recover uh, after a shock. Uh, another example, it came from Brazil, uh, one, university, one uh, university in Minas Gerais state. They did an experiment comparing the average temperature uh, in two areas of coffee, in two different areas of coffee. One, coffee in the plain, uh, in open sun, and another area in, uh, uh, with coffee in an uh, agroforest system with uh, some trees. And they, well, they, 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 the results that they, they reach uh, is, is the obvious one. Huh? Uh, the, the average temperature inside the agroforest system, the, the, the coffee production system that include trees, uh, it, it was four degrees less than the coffee in the open sun. It is obvious because there is trees there, shadow, and the average temperature is, is the average temperature is going to be less, of course. But it is quite important for farmers that produce coffee there because uh, with four degrees less, farmers on that area can continue to produce coffee, a high quality coffee like they produce today, and they continue to produce it even in a context of climate change. And then uh, uh, the incorporation of trees, the, 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 the design and implementation of agroforest system can help them to continue to produce in the same way they produce today. Another thing that also came uh, from Brazil is related with multi-cropping. Uh, multi-cropping is one of the, the, uh, uh, the alternatives that we have uh, and we use uh, in several times on sustainable agriculture. It means production of several uh, uh, plants, different plants, or incorporation, or introduction of several plants in one same field at the same moment. Uh, it used better the soil, and farmers from the semi-arid of Brazil, from semi-arid of Minas Gerais, they say that 
Boot cropping is, uh, uh, works, works for them like uh, an insurance against bad weather. Even in a context of serious drought or uh, storm, uh, a multi-cropping uh, can, uh, can uh, uh, ensure to them that every time that they go to the field, they have something to harvest. And it, it, in a context of climate change and thinking about food security, it's quite important to have this this kind of uh, uh, outcome, to have this possibility to harvest something uh, even in a context of very, very, very uh, uh, difficult uh, problems related with the climate. It's also important to say something about sustainable agriculture because many people think that when we talk about low input agriculture or sustainable agriculture, uh, it means also that uh, sustainable agriculture produce less than the conventional systems. Uh, they, they, they joke that uh, low uh, input agriculture means low output, or it means low uh, uh, production. And this is not true. Uh, and uh, we have uh, uh, several examples of it that sustainable agriculture uh, systems can produce uh, the same amount of conventional uh, uh, systems or even more. Uh, more. Uh, and uh, we, we included here one, uh, one thing that we, we took from the uh, one report, uh, this International Assessment of Agricultural Knowledge, Science and Technology for Development. Uh, it was uh, uh, produced by a, gr a group of 400 scientists that during three years they studied the alternatives that we have related with uh, uh, production, agricultural production, and, and they conclude the same thing that the reality and the, the, our field uh, uh, work is showing to us. That farmers adopting agroecological methods are producing equal and sometimes substantially uh, 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 increased yield per unit compared with those that, those that are using conventional methods. Climate Resilient Sustainable Agriculture is one initiative that actually has been developed uh, based on the concepts and practice of sustainable agriculture. Uh, it is one effort of actually to incorporate in our day by day work the new challenges posed by climate change and its impacts on poor people's life. Uh, actually, is proposing climate resilient sustainable agriculture as a tool to increase the preparedness of women and men and smallholder farmers to face the impacts of climate change. By preparedness, we mean that we need to increase our capacity to deal with, the, with these impacts, some that we know and some that we don't know yet. Uh, climate resilient sustainable agriculture is based on the identification of the main risks that the community, local community, are facing or may face in the future, and uh, on the design and implementation of a specific, a site-specific adaptation strategies, aiming to reduce the vulnerabilities and increase the, the re resistance and resilience of smallholder production systems. By resilience, we mean uh, uh, resilience uh, means uh, uh, the capacity of a system to recover after shock. And by, by increasing resistance and resilience of uh, smallholder production systems, we mean we want a system that is less affected by the external shocks like drought, like hurricanes, like floods. And if, uh, uh, when these kind of things, uh, problems appear, it can resist more and be more resilient means recover fast and recover easily with less damage. Uh, 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 the systems will recover with less damages. 